In this video, I'll show you one of my favorite tools that I use for every online event, and that is Restream. If you manage an online community, you know that creating a great online event experience can make all the difference. We've been using Restream for over a year and it has quickly become our go-to tool for all online events. It allows you to do a couple of things. The first is it lets you stream to multiple places at the same time. So you can stream to Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Two, you can mix multiple sources together. So if you're doing an interview, you can see my camera and the person I'm interviewing, and you can even incorporate a Zoom call directly into the stream. And lastly, Restream allows you to download a high quality recording of your stream. This can be great for replays or even uploading to a membership site later. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to set up Restream and how to use this tool for your next event. First, you'll need to create your free Restream account. There's a link in the description that's gonna give you $10 off your first month. Now, one of the things we really love about Restream is that their free plan is very generous. If you check out their pricing page, you'll see that there is a basic free forever option here, which allows you to stream to two different places. So you can stream to YouTube and to Facebook at the same time. You can always upgrade to standard or the professional option later as you need more features. But for now, let's check out the basic plan that's free. When you click on the link in the description, you'll go to a page that looks like this. You'll see at the top that you'll receive $10 credit when you sign up with this link. And if you scroll all the way down, you can go ahead and pick the plan you want. I'm gonna click on basic and we'll get set up. After your account is created, you'll see a page that looks like this. And you can just go ahead and close this out. This is just asking if you wanna start a free trial. So let's go ahead and hit close. Once you're in your account, you'll have two options to get started. You can either schedule events ahead of time or you can head over to the Restream Studio and just start streaming immediately. For now, I'm gonna head over to the Start With Studio option here in blue. And there I am on Restream, so I'm gonna go in here and just add my name. And at this point, I can actually go ahead and mute myself if I want, I can turn my camera off, and I can hit into the settings. Under settings, you'll see an option to select the uh, input that you want, so I can choose between any camera that I'm using, and I can change the video resolution. I would highly recommend that you jump to the high definition 720p option here. If you're on one of the paid plans, you'll be able to add a 1080p as well. Next, you can head over to the audio settings and I can actually set my uh, mic input that I want to use and I can choose my audio output. So if I'm using headphones or another device, you can select that right there. I would highly recommend that you leave echo cancellation on and the noise suppression on as well. So I'll close this and hit enter studio. All right, I'm gonna give you a quick tour. Now, if you head over to the sidebar on the left, you'll be able to add and remove different feeds into the frame. So if I uh, turn this off, it actually hides my video and I can bring it back on. Now you can also go up to the invite guests option here and grab the share link. If you take that link and you share it with the person you wanna interview, their camera is also gonna appear right here. And you will do the same thing. You'll just enable it and it will add it to the screen. If I zoom in down here to these options, you'll see that there are a couple ways to display video. So if you want kind of a side-by-side -side video, you can do that, or you can have kind of full uh, height here with the camera kind of zoomed in. And there's a couple other options as well. These are great, especially when you are sharing a screen. Um, you can have your screen up here and then your camera down there. If you click on the gear icon down here, you can actually get back to the settings. And this is where you can uh, change your camera, you can change your audio options, and you can even add a virtual background if you want. If you look over on this right panel, you'll see a number of brand settings that will help customize your live stream. You'll see that my name is displayed down at the left. And if I click on the news option or the rounded option, it has different styles that it can add. I can even go over here and click on a different color if I'd like. If you look at the overlay section, you can actually choose a number of options that will display over your stream if you wanna brand it a certain way. I would uh, either just leave this blank or upload a custom graphic if you want. And if you keep scrolling down, you'll see that there are some really cool video clips. If I click this countdown option, a countdown will start and I can actually go live. And as soon as this finishes, it'll actually cut back to my picture um, right as it hits three, two, one, zero. 
And lastly, there's some options to add background. So when you have kind of a side-by-side -side video, you can actually have a background that's placed behind that video just to make it a little more visually interesting. Now, if all of this is very overwhelming, you can actually go to the very bottom down here and uncheck default graphics. This will take all those default graphics away and then you can just upload your own into Restream. That's a quick tour of all the options here to get your stream set up. So now let's actually add a destination so we can tell Restream where to send this stream. We'll go to the top up here and click add destination. And now you'll see a list of all the places you can send your stream. So for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and stream to YouTube. So I'm gonna click on YouTube. Restream will then ask you to sign into your Google account. And once you're signed in, you can choose which channel you would like to stream. You're gonna to scroll to the bottom and just click allow. All right, if I go to the very top up here, you'll see that my YouTube channel is now set as one of the options. If I click edit, I can actually change the title of the event and the description. This is what's gonna be shown on my YouTube title and the YouTube description. Now, if you upgrade to one of the Restream paid accounts, you'll be able to turn this recording option on, which will automatically record a high quality video and save it to your Restream account. Now, if I wanna add a second destination, I'll just go and click on this edit destinations and I can add another destination right here. Again, in the free plan, you can have two destinations, but you can always upgrade if you need more. One other great feature I really love about Restream is that if you click over to the right here and click on chat, you can actually see all of the live comments from YouTube or Facebook right inside of Restream. So you don't have to have two uh, tabs pulled up. You can just glance over and the comments are gonna be right there. If you wanna be fancy, you can actually go and click show and this will place the comment from YouTube directly onto your feed. So if people are just watching and you see a really good question or really good comment, you just click on show and it will bring it and add a little animation right onto your stream. And that's pretty much it. You're ready to go live. So you can click on this red go live button up here and you'll see a three, two, one, and you'll start streaming live. And now you're live. We're streaming on YouTube through Restream. When I'm finished, I just click on this end stream and click OK. And that's it. You just streamed your first video using Restream. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'd be happy to answer those for you. We'll see you soon and happy streaming. Thank you.